everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Rising. Here we are in the security room. You can see you've missed nothing. We have our good friend Jesse who is completely worthless. <laughs> and even Frank doesn't believe her. <laughs> so here's some uh, health items. You can see there's apples here on the ground. They refill one health. Uh, the creamer will ref refill four. That will spawn for a while. Eventually it goes away. This is our good friend Otis. He's not our friend. Shh. So our not so good friend Otis hands us a map which you can see here. You can cycle through different levels. It's kind of useful if you don't really know where you're going. Um, I already do so no big deal. And of course he hands us the transceiver, which, you know, that's gonna get annoying really soon, so... Hate to spoil that one. These ventilation shafts are gonna be our primary entrance and exit for the entire game, pretty much. Hey, anybody around? And we actually have our first survivors. This is Jeff. He carries around a golf club and beats zombies to death with it, like a real man. So as you can see, pressing B near them will allow the survivors to join your party. Um, Frank once again introduces himself as a journalist, which... Now that's kind of egotistical. And here are some instructions for escorting survivors. Basically, Y will call them, and if you hold down the right trigger, which brings you into Go. focus mode like this, and use Y, it'll set a waypoints. Um, waypoints are pretty much the best way to bring survivors around. Really, when they're by themselves, their pathing is terrible. They are awful at attacking things. Things are just bad. And here, they'll at least stay put and defend a point. Um, you want to use waypoints as much as possible in this game. Now that we have Natalie, she will immediately head to our waypoint that we've set. And as you can see, just even grabbing these guys gives a pretty hefty PP bonus. Now if they actually survive and make it to the end, well that's even more. Um, here you'll see these two people reunite and we get an opportunity shot. Fantastic. And bam, two achievements for that one. Yeah. And a level, great. Another explanation here about leveling up. Yeah, it works like every leveling up system ever. Um, basically, you can see you can get attack, speed, life, stock. A lot of great things. We just got a stock increase, so that means we can carry one more item. Now we'll just interrupt them real quick. And from here, we can escort them back all the way up through the vents and into the safe room. And we can just hit them real quick. If anything is collision with the survivors, will always make this loud thwacking sound. Kind of silly. Don't think the human body's that heavy. Well, I guess he does shove him pretty hard. That's kind of rude to shove a 65-year-old woman like that. 53. Hey, this game takes place in 2006. There's some food for thought. Anyway, now that the escort is complete, you'll see we gain a huge bonus here. And it's enough to give us level 3, which is another health bar. Thank God, because we'll probably need that. Anyway, now that we've cleared this area, we'll actually get a chance to go ahead and look at the rest... Well, any of them all, I guess. And uh, I'm going to drop some stuff up here, because... Screw it, we don't need it. And actually, I'm going to grab a couple of these soccer balls. Um, you'll see why in a bit, but soccer balls are amazing. All right, let's enter the warehouse. So first up, we're going to get our first transceiver message. And uh, you, this is why everyone hates transceiver messages. Basically, Otis is going to end up talking to you about a bunch of stuff generally you don't care too much about. And he'll do it at the most inconvenient times. Additionally, you don't have to walk this slow, but I am because... If you take the slightest amount of damage, I think even if you fall far enough, it will actually end the conversation, and he'll get mad at you and want to talk again. Oh, shit. Now here's a really easy way to get your free 
free fall achievement. Man, that is a hard word to say for some reason. Zombies, huh? Had a feeling you'd show up. Well, at least he's admitting it. Sneak up on me. <sighs> Brad was attacked. I located him on the monitor. Oh! It's probably just a sprain. I've got to help Brad. Or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. Come on. I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. You know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. Oh, good. Then, uh, you know the basics. Shoot all the Arabs you see, watch out for IEDs... ...so on, so forth. Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are gonna have a nice little chat. Very good, Frank. Always threaten the blonde lady who looks completely helpless. Anyways, this is the case system. And no, I wasn't serious about the Arab thing, so please don't kill me. Anyway, the case system is basically our story. As we progress through it, it'll continue to unlock new objectives, so on and so forth. As you can see, we are currently engaged in case 1.2 or some stupidness like that. And when you pull up the uh, watch, you'll see we can actually set waypoints and stuff. Here, our first objective is the backup for Brad section. Um, we have quite a lot of time to actually complete that. You'll see it's blue, which means that there's, I think, what did it say, over six hours? Anyway, I'm going to try to see if I can get another transceiver message here. Nothing. Damn it, Otis, you are just good for nothing. Alright, well, I guess I'll just grab this fire hydrant on my way out and... Yeah, I know, I just dropped the handgun, but it sucks, so we'll show how, how bad it sucks later. The fire hydrants, however, can be used... Fire hydrant, fire extinguisher, can be used for fun stuff like this. You can sort of just freeze zombies. Doesn't really do anything, sort of pushes them back, kind of locks them there for a second, but it's kind of useless. Uh, it's better to even throw it. And, uh, I guess we'll explain cameras. You see how I have 22 pictures left? Just went down to 21. Well, over here is the batteries, and you can recharge like so, and that will give you 30 shots again. Also, you may have noticed that a green picture was taken there, or a green zombie was hit. That's an outtake. Um, basically, it means something funny occurred. God, I love the soccer ball. Did you see how many people that hit? It was great. Anyway, the soccer ball sort of has a homing mechanic to it, which makes it really fun to clear a whole bunch of zombies if you need to. And uh, over here, we'll just see what we got. We got a novelty mask in the shape of a server bot. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. And uh, not only does can it be used to take out take pictures like the one we saw previously, but it uh, looks funny and it stops a zombie from biting people, so it's sort of useful, I guess. Not really. Oop, swing and a miss. There we go. You can see with a baseball bat, if you hold up a strike like this and you get the right distance, it gives you an extra 10 PP for hitting a home run, I guess. Over here is a serve bot head we can put on ourselves. Very fancy. Little dance he makes and the sound effects. This is a sort of a nerf saucer. Doesn't really do anything. It's completely useless, but you know, hey, great. And in case you're curious why I'm just sort of mucking about here, we got plenty of time before we have to deal with the Brad section. So we might as well explore the mall and beat the crap out of some stuff. Oh, you little bastard. I don't even see you there. By the way, I just have to say, this servbot head just gets infinitely more creepy when blood stains are on the side of it. So 
So these are books. Um, books have of various effects. For example, some give you extra PP when you take pictures, some help your healing. Uh, in this case, what this one does is any... I believe that's entertainment. Any entertainment stuff will actually give you a bonus to uh, how long the book lasts. Sorry I lied, that was engineering. That one's entertainment. By the way, love the mall music in the background. Anyway, we'll go over here and uh, explain a little bit more about the books. All the way up the stairs. That's a good hit. Doing Ken Griffey Jr. proud. Only I don't do steroids. 